stone comes in literally thousands of different colors. Uh, its durability is unsurpassed. It goes back thousands of years. It's a proven product, is what a lot of architects tell me, that uh, they don't have to worry what it's going to look like 20 or 30 years from now. It actually gets better with age. It's the real thing. It's genuine. Uh, it cannot be duplicated in a factory. It cannot be duplicated in a, in a laboratory. It's, it's nature's own. It's probably one of the more cost-effective materials given the fact that it lasts so long. There's nothing better than nature. It's a natural product. It has a character. It has a history. It represents Earth history, long history. Nothing lasts forever, but it lasts as long as we're here. The only great buildings in the world that have been built are built out of stone. It's kind of like fine jewelry. It, it sparkles um, and it's, it just looks nice all the time. The look is beautiful and it's just so durable. Ever since primitive times, the use of natural stone has been a constant. When early humans learned to chip one rock against another, they initiated a creative legacy that has endured through time. Cultures from ancient to contemporary have used natural stone to build structures for their own dwellings, to worship their gods, commemorate their heroes, and house their institutions of government and learning. In fact, the first real work of architects was the design of temples thousands of years ago. The first architect whose name we know was Imhotep. He was an ancient Egyptian high priest who designed the famous Step Pyramid of Saqqara a daring structure rising like a gigantic staircase to the heavens. It was built with thousands of two and a half ton granite blocks in 2778 BC and was seen as the basis for the development of stone masonry on a large scale. More than 2,000 years later the Parthenon was designed and erected in Athens, Greece. Built with marble and a timber roof it has been called the greatest and most influential building of all time. Few have had more of an impact on the use of natural stone than the Roman Vitruvius of the first century BC, renowned for his ten books of architecture and his legendary classic designs. There are thousands of examples around the world offering testimony to the creativity, individuality, beauty and durability that's come from building with natural stone. Great buildings of all sizes and shapes have evolved from the drawings of the world's master architects who truly had an appreciation for the world's oldest and most versatile building material. These memorable structures range from the great old churches of Europe and the Middle East to the distinctive, durable, and functional buildings of modern times like the Empire State Building, the Pentagon, the Wrigley Building in Chicago, the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., and others. The tradition continues today, where the desire to incorporate the use of granite, marble, limestone, travertine, field stone, and other materials which make up the natural stone family in all venues ranging from religious and government buildings to small and large commercial structures, homes, landscaping, and monuments is fueled by the desire to create that which is unique, natural, enduring, and green. Mostly the utilization of natural stone is based on the acknowledgement that man with all of his technology, cannot duplicate in the laboratory or the manufacturing plant what it took nature millions of years to create. It's also being stimulated by an expanded global economy, allowing access to a huge inventory of raw material being quarried around the world in the United States, Canada, South America, Italy, China, India, Africa, and beyond. Advances in technology have made it possible to reduce the cost of quarrying, processing, and installing natural stone, making natural stone price competitive with man-made materials for both exterior and interior applications. That, coupled with its aesthetic appeal, sustainability, and ease of maintenance, makes genuine stone the natural choice. The coring technology has improved in the countries around the world so that the raw material can be extracted at a lower cost. Today, with technology and the kind of uh, refinement of quarrying and manufacturing and fabrication and installation of stone, you can do a lot of things you couldn't do before. Because of dramatically lower production costs, quarries around the world which were once ignored or abandoned 
are now economically producing some of the world's most beautiful and sought-after natural stone products, resulting in a huge inventory of striking raw materials. The biggest leap forward has been the development of state-of-the-art synthetic diamond technology, which enables workers using diamond-studded wires and a pulley arrangement to easily and precisely slice giant blocks of natural stone out of quarries, a task once primarily done manually. In natural stone processing plants, new high-speed gang saws running 24 hours a day can slab a 20-ton block of granite in little more than two days, compared to a week or more with older processes. Automated polishing and finish lines speed the finished slabs to fabricators and construction sites around the globe. With incredible speed and precision, marble, granite, and other tiles made from natural stone are cut, polished, carefully packaged, and shipped to installers. In the fabricating plant, sophisticated CAD systems and computer-driven cutting machines have drastically improved accuracy and productivity. For instance, computerized cutting machines can make cuts to one one-thousandth of an inch and finishes with the same tolerances and can do multiple jobs at the same time. Powerful new saws can rotate up to 360 degrees and can be mated with water jet technology to achieve virtually any precise cuts or patterns desired. The quality is awesome. With this automation, a single operator can run two or three machines and produce in a day what it would have taken 10 men to do little more than a decade ago. New computer-aided techniques have stretched the bounds of creativity. With automated systems and precise tolerances, fabricators can now produce thinner natural stone panels, which can further drive down the price of using nature's oldest building material. The automation in the fabrication also helps with the quality of the end product and the better the product, the easier it is to install. Technology has also had an impact on stone installation. With new systems and methods substantially reducing the cost of transportation and installation while making stone easier to handle. There's a lot of things as the industry moves forward where they're trying to add value to the product and make the installation actually easier. New technology is also speeding the processing and cutting of ruble or field stone. Automated systems have helped to reduce the cost of getting ruble stone to the job, making this versatile material even more appealing because it can add a unique look and significant value to a project. The bottom line is this. Even if you strip away the advances in processing and installation, using natural stone offers enormous advantages for exterior and interior designs and landscape architecture. There is simply no way to duplicate what nature has provided in terms of beauty, maintenance, and durability. I'm not going to tell you that there isn't a place for a lot of other materials to be used in buildings, but if you're a great master architect, you should be able to work in a variety of materials, but what seems to provide the legacy for a master architect probably is the fact that they used a lot of stone in their construction. I think that most architects want to specify stone, and most owners want to have a stone building. The nice part about that is it's uh, a more permanent material that we don't have to worry about having callbacks or problems with, with installation. When you use the stone, your project is always unique. It's always unique. Genuine stone is not only unique, but it also fits in with today's emphasis on environmental friendliness. After all, as the world's first building material, it epitomizes all that is green. Here in the United States, more than 1,300 stone industry companies, represented by the main stone industry and trade organizations, are participating with the Natural Stone Council in an effort to document genuine stone sustainability, environmental footprint, and rightful place in the building arena, and to provide timely information to the architectural, design, and contracting communities. John Matke of St. Cloud, Minnesota, is co-chair of the Natural Stone Council and chairman of its Committee on Sustainability. We believe it's extremely important for us to be involved in this movement because there is so much going on with the sourcing of materials uh, having to do with uh, building construction. We did a survey with architects here about a year ago to determine how they felt about natural stone and nearly everyone said they felt the material itself was, was uh, natural material, was sustainable. 
However, they were concerned about the quarrying and fabrication practices, transportation, and other types of activity that uh, would tend to consume energy in processing the material. To answer those concerns, Matke says the Natural Stone Council has formed a partnership with the University of Tennessee's Center for Clean Products. They're surveying the industry to determine the energy inputs, water consumption, recycling issues, and other best practices and environmental factors and considerations relative to the quarrying and fabrication of natural stone. For the latest information on natural stone and the green movement, go to www.genuinestone.org. Today, an endless variety of natural stone products, suitable for virtually any project, is displayed at natural stone trade shows around the world, or readily available from distributors across the globe, like this one in Carrera, Italy, which traditionally warehouses more than 10,000 blocks of marble and granite. If you can't find something pleasing at one of these resource locations, it probably doesn't exist. That's why people in all phases of natural stone fabrication and installation and members of the architectural and design communities from around the world are frequent visitors to supplier warehouses and domestic and international trade shows. There are other extraordinary new tools to help you find just the right stone anywhere in the world for your project, right down to matching individual pieces of stone. With digital photography and the web, designers, material suppliers and contractors can be intimately involved in the stone selection process. While most jobs don't warrant high-tech internet treatment or a trip to a foreign location, good places to start your search for the right stone are the local showrooms or stockyards of genuine stone suppliers, distributors, and contractors across the United States. There you can literally see hundreds of different colors, patterns, and textures. You can get valuable technical information that will help determine the viability of a particular type of stone for commercial, institutional, residential, and landscape use. Your local supplier and fabricator may also arrange for a visit to major stone quarries or wholesalers, both at home and abroad, where you can virtually hand-pick the blocks of granite, marble, limestone, and other materials for the project. Professional organizations representing various natural stone disciplines, like those sponsoring this video, also have enormous amounts of technical information that can help architects and designers plan, specify, and ultimately supervise the installation of the end product. No production about stone would be complete without talking about the recent attacks on the safety of granite, which have been mainly orchestrated by the makers of man-made stone. As a result of these attacks, the Marble Institute of America, a large association of the Natural Stone Council, initiated one of the most comprehensive testing programs ever to determine whether there are any safety-related issues with cancer-causing radon and granite in indoor usage. More than 400 types of granite slabs and samples were tested by Environmental Health and Engineering of Needham, Massachusetts, a world-leading testing organization. The results? The vast majority of stones that are uh, sold in the United States today uh, give off virtually no radon or radiation. We were able to take that information and then translate that back to what the potential health risks are. And what we found is that none of the stones that we've tested to this point would pose any health risk to people in a home. Armed with this research, Dr. McCarthy and his staff are putting the finishing touches on the most comprehensive protocols for testing granite, both in pre-screening slabs and for granite already installed in the home. As a result of those protocols, the Marble Institute of America is developing a voluntary pre-screening process for slabs prior to fabrication. Companies that have chosen to have slabs screened successfully will then be authorized to apply a home-approved stone sticker which will carry the name of the person who completed the screening. It's another way of assuring the design and consumer communities that granite is not only beautiful, versatile, and durable, but safe for indoor usage. Only natural stone is nature's own. To help assure that you always get the real thing, the Natural Stone Council has launched a major branding campaign positioning genuine stone as a truly one-of-a-kind material that uniquely enhances building or landscape projects. The cornerstone of the campaign is the Genuine Stone logo, which represents the symbol for the real thing. By registering the term Genuine Stone, there is now a way to differentiate what is real and what is not in the marketplace. So remember, 
genuine stone is always the natural choice. It's, it's much more affordable than it was, say, 10 years ago. The natural stone is one of those products that it, it almost sells itself. It's beautiful. It's a classic lifetime value. If you're looking for a material that's going to give you warmth, depth, and a lifelong uh, enjoyability, I guess is the best way I would put it, then you want natural stone. I just don't think there's anything that compares to natural stone. I mean, what's not to like about natural stone?